So Blackmagic dropped a huge bomb on all the camera manufacturers, including Canon. And the bomb is well received by the audience. So I'm intent to make this video very short and very specific. As by now, I do believe you have seen the Blackmagic camera arsenal update. If you didn't, just to let you know that Blackmagic have released an amount of equipment, broadcasting equipment, streaming equipment, and more specifically, cameras. There's a lot of Ks and big cameras for cinema, like IMAX, and a lot of consumers camera. But today, specifically, I'll talk about the Blackmagic boxed camera, and it's known as Blackmagic Pixies. 6k full frame the black magic pixie has been waited for so long for so many people specifically people have been asking for the black magic box sized camera that they can rig and attach a lot of accessories but as for me i believe for you as well we've been just sitting back and watching how the game is going i've been using my camera the c100 mark ii probably for almost like five years now and i've shot a lot of good content i've shot a feature film with it and for me news like this come in a moment where i'm a bit confused i don't know how to express myself maybe you will help me out so to talk a little bit about this black magic pixies 6k full frame it has few features that probably you need to hear. It is 6K resolution, uh, 13 stop of the make range. It's a box shape, but for me, I don't care. It's available in a different mounting mode, the L mount, PL and EF mount. So the camera has a different mounting point on the top, on the side and on the bottom. I think this is what a lot of people have been crying for to get a box camera like this so that they can mount a lot of stuff. The camera has dual ISO, and to insist more, it's a full frame camera. That means you can shoot anamorphic without cropping the image. And the camera will be available from June 2024 and the price will be 3,000 US dollars. For a lot of people, this is a beautiful price. And for me as well, I think it's very reasonable. So when you shoot with the Black Magic Raw, which is the only codec that's available in the camera, except the, the H.264 proxy, you'll get the 12-bit image. So I have a few things that bit shocked me. Uh, the fact that I've been in a moment where I'm starting to research and looking for a best camera. I know I've been saying this since last year. I don't know why I cannot get rid of this uh, C100 Mark II. However, uh, I've been looking so much on the C70, thinking that it's gonna be my best camera because I have a gimbal and I want to have really flexibility of a small camera. The C C100 is very huge camera and it's very complicated to operate on the gimbal. Specifically now, I am trying to change in my storytelling a bit. I've been always filming on stick. I don't complain, but it's just to add a bit of dynamic. I don't shoot weddings. I don't shoot corporate videos. I'm specifically with film. That's been my goal and that's what I am based. So to have a little camera like the C70, I feel like it's gonna revolutionize how I do my work. Anyway. So I'll go straight and talk about things that I love about the Blackmagic Pixie 60K. Uh, one of them is being full frame. I love it. Uh, it's really for a person that works in film, specifically in movies, I think it's amazing uh, sensor. The second is the price. The camera is 3,000 US dollars. I think it's a very reasonable. The box chip, again, for me. Just don't care. Important part also, it has 12G SDI output and time code. It's really nice for film production. So with SDI, we can you can plug in the Terra Deck and supply the image to the crew on the on set. Uh, the camera comes in a different mount, as I mentioned, uh, L mount, PL, and EF. So as depends on what kind of lenses you own. As for me, I'm still owning these uh, photograph lenses like the Sigma 18-35. I don't want to give up on these lenses yet. The other thing is the camera has internal built the cloud uploading and streaming, which is an amazing revolution in technology uh, regarding the cameras. On the other hand, I feel like this is, has been a very strong selling point of Blackmagic because they own this cloud service. And for some reason, a lot of people said it's a bit expensive. So I think they've been really creating cameras 
uh, heading to that direction that it makes the workflow easy but at the same time it's a marketing strategy where they will be selling another products that is a cloud storage and that's why I feel like they made these huge sensors like this 12k the 17k for people like me and most of us regular filmmakers i feel like it's the 12k the 17k for some people can be a bit too much but i understand the point where they say that they want to create cameras where that the size like imax and they can be accessible to everyone and the 12k goes like 14,000, i think 14 15 so it's pretty good price uh for that kind of sensor but i've been always a big fan of uh, color space and not the case for some reason 12 bit i feel like it's a very huge improvement for someone coming from the 8 bit camera so if i'm getting this camera i really gonna utilize that trees so the reason to make this video is not that i'm just gonna be another youtuber that is gonna talk about the new gear and just to get a few clicks and all that no I'm very serious with this because I am uh, the reason to start even this channel was to create a community that we can share ideas, I can share my views and I can really improve my workflow. So I've been really in the moments that I want to get a new camera and my goal was to get the C70. As I mentioned, um, it's, I feel like it's a beautiful camera. However, now the Blackmagic releasing the Pixie 6K, I'm uh, very confused and I need your help. Really. I need your help. Uh, help me to identify. I will read every comment. I will judge every comment to understand why I should get the Pixie 6K or I should just go ahead with the C70. And right now I was like about to buy. Like I have a project coming up. I was like really after the C70. But I'm a in between. I've been sharing with my filmmaking friends and they can't also confuse they don't want to say but i believe you guys have better views on it so i have a few concern of this camera the pixie x6k and i would like to share with you it's not really bad things but the things that a bit are red flags for me one of them being the camera not having nd filters like i'm straight to it like when i saw the image it has like a little dial on the side I didn't even question, I didn't even go to read the description of what the camera is made of. I just thought that dial is the ND filters. And later realizing the camera doesn't have ND filters, for me, that was a huge, huge minus. The 6K pocket has ND filters. The tiniest little cameras that come out, the C70 has ND filters. I don't know why Blackmagic, they decided not to push the ND filters. As uh, one old man said once that camera manufacturers, they make a perfect camera and for some reason they look at it, they say, okay, now let's cripple it. The camera has a four inch monitor that's built in and stuck on the side of the camera operator. Again, how, I don't know, it's like when you are operating the camera, sometimes you are behind it and you want to have a monitor that you can flip and do all you want. I know, I know the camera comes with the SDI output. That means you can mount your monitors, but a little monitor on the side that you can flip how you want, whatever you want, could have been amazing. The camera doesn't have V-mount plates. Yes, it has a side where you can mount uh, hard drives, uh, V-mount plates, and whatsoever. But if it had like uh, an integrated the mount plate, I feel like it could have been an amazing. The camera doesn't have autofocus. Like right now, I'm filming myself with a Sigma 18 to 35 on the C100 Mark II. I don't have to worry about focus. I know it's a professional cinema camera, which I think is like a very easy technology to integrate. Maybe depending with the mount, if it was a PL, maybe the autofocus could be a bit critical, but if it's an E-mount, it should be something very, easy to make i don't know but can't complain i'm just raising these issues and because i need your help please let me know what you think i will spend if it takes weeks and weeks to read comments i'll do that just to have a better understanding you know sometimes we live in our bubbles and i don't have a lot of people around me where i live and i need 
this community to help me to make a better decision. However, I know people say, yeah, you know what you need, you know what your workflow is. But I feel like the C70 and this uh, Blackmagic, considering the Blackmagic RAW is an amazing codec, it has a beautiful image. On the other hand, also, again, the C70 has a very good ergonomic, so I'm kind of in between. And the price point, the C70 is very expensive right now. Even after like four years, it is still hanging from 4,000 and above. But this beautiful beast came out now with these amazing features and it's 3,000. Por favor, ayúdame. Help.